Matt, as we approach thinking about Jesus' way uh, with others, given where we're at, whatever the sphere of influence, there's probably a less helpful question in the mix here and a more helpful question. And the less helpful question I hope you uh, consider, this is not an unhelpful question, just a less helpful question where we are, is what would Jesus do in this or that situation that uh, because I think the more helpful question for us to be asking as men and women who care, kingdom people, right? However you want to define the details of that in your own life, is the more helpful question is what is Jesus doing in the middle of this? And um, some of us are carrying a weight of imitating Jesus that uh, without thinking about, well, that's not just a story from 2,000 years ago, that by the Spirit of God, Jesus continues to be up to this hospitable, particularizing, deepening, impatient way. And so even as we talk, or as I've been sorting this out, is um, let's pay attention to, to the work that he's already doing. And it's not easy work. I'm not suggesting that we're going to have some easy fill in the blanks as we talk about this. Uh, but I think it's the right question, particularly in this season, for us to be alert to and to begin to look around. Um, our Zoom meetings, homeschooling tables, uh, supermarket uh, visits, and uh, and even beginning to be together with our uh, the fellow body of Christ in whether that's through a screen or whether that's in person here as some people are moving into that over the next month. So um, yeah, so what what is Jesus doing? I think I would love for us to be asking that question as we come to these themes and these uh, these characteristics of what Jesus is up to 